Hi everyone, John Boy 12 here for the Six Awesome People video for Monday. And this week we're going to continue our talk on diabetes. But this week we're going to talk about hypoglycemia. Last week I did a video on testing my blood. And it was 5.3. That was pretty much above average. Perfect. You can't go lower than that. If you actually go lower than like 4.6 then this is the stage you get into hypoglycemia and this is what we're going to talk about today the two main questions are really asked when you go to a doctor is what is hypoglycemia hypoglycemia is the clinical syndrome that results from low blood sugar hypoglycemia is a diagnosed by low blood sugar with symptoms that resolves when the sugar re level returns to a normal range that means around 4.7, 4.6, 4.5, even lower than that. That means you're in severely danger of going to a diabetic coma. And we're going to be talking about that more in weeks to come. But uh, today, it's a severe topic, actually. If you think about it, a few, a few weeks ago, I encountered hypoglycemia myself. My sugar was at 4.7. People started to freak out. Miss Coca Girl 12 started to freak out. She didn't know what to do. So we went to a pharmacy and bought something in the uh, diabetic aisle. It's called glucose tablets. It's a compressed, yeah, compressed glucose tablets. They come in these little tubes and they come in different flavors, actually. This is grape and this is watermelon. And when you're actually a diabetic that is actually in need of sugar glucose you do want to carry some kind of like glucose on your on your side and like in your pocket I mean it could be glucose tablets it can be a chocolate bar anything that involves sugar okay this I mean a bottle of pop that contains sugar not diet but uh, regular like coke Pepsi orange is orange actually is one of those favorites because this contains more sugar than any other pops out there. But uh, the thing is about hypoglycemia is if you you are in love with some guy or some girl that, that is involving diabetic, uh, don't be afraid. I mean, we're all normal people here. I mean, you just got to take precautions if that person is in need of glucose. Just prepare them, uh, make them feel comfortable, uh, give them their glucose. I mean, don't be shy. You know, if you be shy, then that feel that person's gonna feel uncomfortable, and he's gonna say, "Oh, I feel stupid for doing this." You know, so always stick by them. You know, you, you never know when a person's really gonna be in a diabetic panic attack, almost like that. I call that. So we're gonna talk about who is at risk for hypoglycemia. While patients who do not have any metabolic problems, I can't say that word somehow, can complain of symptoms suggestive of low blood sugar. True hypoglycemia usually in occurs in patients being treated for diabetes type 1 and type 2. Patients with pre-diabetes who have insulin residence, that means too much insulin, that means if someone is on type 1 diabetes or is prescribed insulin, uh, I think Nova, Novo insulin or something like that. I know my grandma has that. Uh, when she has too much insulin, she becomes like a little shaking feeling inside her. She feels like nauseous. So that means she is in need of glucose. That means her pancreas or her whole body is, uh, is in need of sugar. Uh, can also have low blood sugar. On occasion, if their high circulating insulin levels or further challenged by a prolonged period of fasting. There are other rare causes for hypoglycemia, such as insulin-producing tumors, 
and certain medications. So that means I take medication for myself. Uh, it's, I think, metformins, metformins, 500 milligrams per pill. I take four pills a day, so that's almost, pff, almost I think I would have to say 20 hundred milligrams or 2,000 anything around there. So there's a, that's a lot of milligrams per day. So you kind of get the message where people lose weight from this. It's kind of normal. And actually they say these uncommon causes of hypoglycemia will not be discussed in the article, which is permanently focused on the hypoglycemia occurring with diabetes and their treatment. So that's pretty much what, I, what they're probably saying is if people are in diabetes or they take medication for it to uh, control their diabetes, I mean, they're more at risk to have hypoglycemia. Anyone can have that, but most of the times they're like diabetes people will have that. So even if you're not diabetic, you can have hypoglycemia. So that means always check your blood. It's always necessary. Just a little pick on your finger checks your blood and if your blood is normal that means you have nothing to worry about so next week we're going to talk about something else next week we're going to talk about i thought high blood sugar was bad why is low blood sugar also bad so check next week my name is channel boy 12 take care and peace out Stay awesome.